Hello Jeremy, this is Tom in Instructional Design. Um, I have a little bit more understanding on what you're doing here. I have created uh, your Blackboard site for Music 193, which is Jazz Ensemble. So here is the Blackboard site. Uh, I did go ahead and put a banner up there on there, so you're, you can change that and I can show you how to do it. You've told me in your email that you wanted to do three things. Be able to email students, make announcements, and post documents. So what I want to do is show you how to do that. First off, on this screen that you see, make sure that your edit mode is on. And then if you want to create announcements, simply click Create Announcements right there on the screen. Okay, and so there you can type in your subject line. You can put in whatever announcements you have. You can, uh, if you put this button here, it won't restrict the amount of time that the announcements will show up on this page. If you click this little box, it will make sure that the announcement is sent out immediately to every student enrolled in the course so that you don't have to do it manually, okay? So that's the best way to do it, and I'm going to click Cancel here and get out of that. So you click Submit, uh, and your announcements will show up here, and the students will then get an email about what uh, their announcements is. Okay, in terms of uh, emailing students, like I said, this will actually do the same thing as emailing students, but you'll notice over here on the left, you have an email link. If you click on that, you have the ability to, to email all of these situations. So if you want to email a single student, click single select user. So if you want to uh, send a message to Chance, you click his name, you click that button, it moves it over there, you type the subject, you write the message, you can attach a file and you submit. Okay, So it gives you a lot of options for email if you want to send one to all users. You'll notice all the people that will be there. You put the subject line, you put your text, you can attach a file, click submit. So that's how to do an email. If you want to post documents, let me show you. I'm going to click on the assignments area here. First off, I'm going to assume you're going to have a syllabus. Let's do that first. If you click on syllabus over here on the left, Right now the syllabus is empty, that's why that little box is there. So what you can do is click on build content, you can add an item. All right. So you name, they call this the syllabus for fall 2014, you can put a description here, and then you can attach a file by browsing your computer. My suggestion is that you make your syllabi a PDF and attach a PDF file. That will make sure that it will come up within Blackboard. Then make sure this little button is pressed yes to permit users to view the content and then click submit. And that's the way that you can add a syllabus and you'll notice there are all kinds of things you can add here and I'll be more than happy to help you add additional information if you want. Once you have something added in syllabus that little box goes away and the students will now have something to see. If you want to add assignments the same way. You click the word assignment. It's empty until you add something. Again I like the item because it gives you the ability to add an item like so, name it, put in text, at attach files, and then allow users to use it. Okay, well I think that covers about the three things that you asked me. If we want to do some more things, just let me know. Thank you.